Hi there, welcome back to Real Kosher Family Living. Um, it's Thursday and I and I recorded the cutest video today with the kids um, doing a experiment from Archimedes and the Door to Science. Um, and it was so cool and it, the video didn't record right. So um, it took us three takes to get the one that was good and then it didn't record correctly. So um, I'm going to have to uh, try again maybe or I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Anyway, so you don't get that today. I'm so sad. Um, instead, I'm going to talk a little bit about this crazy blood sugar roller coaster I've been on. So my history is that um, I've been overweight all my life um, since I was in junior high. Um, and before my last pregnancy, so maybe about a year and a half ago, um, I discovered um, PGX, which is a super fiber. And I started taking that and oh, it changed my life. It made me feel full, it made my moods even all day long. It made me lose 40 pounds over six months without having to do anything at all. Just, I mean, I always work out. So um, I work out, I'm, um, I, I'm in my workout clothes right now on my way to the gym as soon as my husband gets home. Um, I, worked out six, I work out six days a week. I love to work out. So, um, so yeah, I, I started taking this PGX and there's this point in the afternoon when I feel like I could eat my children. I'm so hungry. I'll do anything for food uh, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And once I start eating at that point, I just cannot stop. I will go through everything in the house if I start eating then. So it's really crazy. Um, and so, like I said, the PGX totally evened me out for that time of day. Um, it was great. And so now I've had my baby, thank God, and I'm back on this super mega fiber and it is not doing anything. I crash at three o'clock. I crash at 11 a.m. I just, today I was dizzy, my hands were shaking, I was grouchy, I just could not do anything until we had dinner. And we have dinner very early. Um, my husband works late, so um, I have dinner with the children and then I put them to bed. And we have dinner at like nursery hour if you're in Great Britain. We have dinner at four o'clock, 4.30, um, tea time really. It's great. Um, I eat with them and then then I can make it through the day. But I'm starting to really worry about these symptoms. Um, I don't think it's really healthy to just feel this overwhelming, powerful, diabolical urge to have anything, whatever, to eat and then just keep on going. And, and I'm not losing weight now. Um, and I'm really afraid of, of, I'm afraid of this whatever, this hungry thing, this pit that lives in my stomach waiting to open up and swallow up every ounce of food in the house if I let it. So, <clears throat> so I, I was reminded of something. The whole thing reminded me of a blood glucose test I did when I was pregnant. And um, these blood glucose screens when you're pregnant are not the same as blood glucose screens they do non-OB. But I've done two of them now and the results have been very similar and they've both been really, really, really low, like half the normal level. And um, both times the doctors, the OBs have said, oh, that's fine, at least it's not high. We're worried about if it's high and if it's low, you're fine. I'm not sure that I'm fine. I don't feel fine. Um, also, I noticed that yesterday, when I ate about the same amount of calories um, as today, I did not have this overwhelming, crazy, I must eat anything kind of crash at three in the afternoon. So. I started thinking about my days. Yesterday, for breakfast, I had the same thing, which is I didn't have breakfast. 
Um, I had uh, tea chino, uh, which is a coffee substitute with cream, and a little bit of um, a little bit of natural brown sugar. I know it's still sugar, but it's yum. I want sugar. Okay, so uh, about about a teaspoon of that. Then I had also, um, well, also nothing. I had also nothing. Then today I went to a dentist appointment at um, 10 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock, um, I got to my dentist appointment and I hadn't eaten anything and I had taken some supplements. I'm, I'm going to do a video about my supplements. Um, but I had taken some supplements and um, I realized, ooh, I feel really queasy and I'm kind of afraid that something bad is going to happen in the dentist appointment because, you know, they're messing around with your mouth and yuck. And so, and I really, my stomach was just not feeling well. So the only thing they had to eat at the dentist's office was a cookie, a chocolate chip cookie. And that's what I had. I had a chocolate chip cookie um, and it settled my stomach. So fine. So yesterday I did not do that. Yesterday at lunchtime, like I said yesterday, in yesterday's video, I had this awesome green smoothie. Um, with blueberries and banana, and then I also had a slice of um, a whole grain, whole wheat bread that I had made for dinner yesterday. So um, the kids had that for lunch, and so I had that too. So I had a smoothie um, and a piece of whole grain bread, and today I had a cookie at 10, and then I had one of those super sugary, awful coffee drinks at 1. And that was my lunch. Obviously, I made worse choices today than I did yesterday. Much worse choices. So, um, so I made an appointment with a naturopath. I'm really looking forward to that. I'll let you guys know how that goes. It's in a couple weeks. Um, I want to explore this hypoglycemia thing a little bit more. I'm really worried about developing diabetes. I'm really sad that I'm not losing weight back down to where I was. I was, um, you know, I was at, before I got pregnant, I was at the lo my lowest weight of my life. Not, I mean, of my adult life. I, in high school, I weighed about what I weigh right now. Um, and I've been up to 30 pounds. I've been regularly 30 pounds heavier than I am now. So obviously, you know, what I'm doing is fine, and, and I'm not 30 pounds heavier than I am right now. That's great, and I'm the same weight I was in high school, freshman year in high school. That's great. Um, but I'm still overweight. I'm still not happy with that. There's still something going on where I have this horrible, weak feelings. Also, a couple of times when I was pregnant, um, I had episodes where I was... Um, I had like this... This is gonna sound nutty. It's gonna sound nutty. Sound nuts. Okay, so twice I had these experiences where I was um, talking and the words that were coming out of my mouth were not making any sense. They were gobbledygook and, and garbled and not, not um, coherent. And um, that happened once in my previous pregnant in one of my previous pregnancies too, the one before this, um, where. Um, and that time I had something to eat, and then I was able to make a coherent sentence again. But it's really scary. And um, I talked to a neurologist this time. I called my I called my um, doctor immediately when it started. Well, not when it started happening, because when it starts happening, I can't talk to anybody, which is the scary part. Because you can't say, "Oh, I'm having this really scary episode," because what comes out of your mouth is lamb, it, pork garbage is fabulous or something whatever you know just nonsense just random words so um so um the neurologist said that um he thought it was um onset of aura before migraine that some people have um migraine tendencies that that um affect this you know where you get confused or incoherent or whatever it is so yeah anyway I'm out of time again I'm running out of time in all my videos and in this one I sounded like a real nutcase so um thank you for